my name is Gideon, and today we're going to be taking a look at Clara Studio dashboards. Clara Studio was just recently announced, and we're really excited to see uh, what it offers and how it'll help you and your business. So dashboards are a visual way to display your data. Uh, it gives you a quick look, and you can easily tell what's going on. Uh, dashboards are based on spreadsheets. So before we jump in with dashboards, we're going to create a spreadsheet with some sample data in it so we have something to look at. Uh, we also have the sample data right here. This is based on Contextures data. It's just a CSV file I created. Uh, make it a little easier for us. This is available on dbservices.com with the article this video is associated with. Um, you can download it there and follow along with it if you would like. So let's get started. We're here in Clara Studio under our Views tab, and we're just going to create a new view. Uh, we want it to be a spreadsheet. Right. So uh, it created a couple of columns for us. Um, unfortunately, they are not much use to us, so we're just going to get rid of them. And you'll notice it also just came up with a default name. Uh, for our table, and that doesn't really help us either in this case. So we'll just go ahead and rename this something a little bit more descriptive. All right, and we'll go ahead and create our columns. So before we import this data, we want to create the same columns uh, in our spreadsheet that are in our data. So you just click this plus button. Um, you have to get the correct data type, and then you can enter your name. So we're going to start with order date, which will be a date. We're going to have region, which is short text, rep, or representative, which is short text, item, which is short text, and then the rest are going to be numbers. So we have units, type number, unit cost, another number, and finally total, which is a number as well. So. Now we have our dashboard spreadsheet, that is, uh, all set up and ready to receive some data. So we're going to close this. We're going to hit Table Actions, Import from CSV. We're going to drag this in. And you'll notice it matches. Uh, all the columns are all lined up. Uh, you can change this if you want, but in this case, this is exactly what we want. Uh, we can just verify it real quick, and we'll hit Import. And you'll see it loading all our data. All right, so now we have our spreadsheet with some sample data in it, and we are ready to create our dashboard. So uh, we just click Create Dashboard, and it gives us this quick chart. Um, when we create our dashboard, this will be our first chart. All right, so uh, we want to change this to be the data we want to view. So we're going to change this to Bar Chart, and we're going to make ourselves a chart showing how much the representatives have been selling. So our x-axis needs to change to Rep and our y-axis needs to change to total. And now we can see how much money our representatives um, are making us, how much they've been selling. So we'll start with this, and we'll create our dashboard. Studio will think, and here is our new dashboard. Uh, we can go ahead and modify this a little bit more. Uh, we can change our uh, axis labels to be a little bit more descriptive. Rep is pretty good, we'll leave that. Uh, we'll change this to be total sales. We just click out and it updates. We can add a chart title. Uh, be a little bit more descriptive. And you'll notice when you mouse over, um, it also gives you more information. Uh, if your chart is a little bit more packed or a little bit harder to read, this, this would be very helpful. Um, dashboards are made up of objects. So this is a chart object. We can add more objects to our dashboard in two different ways. Uh, we can click up here at the Add Object and drag something out. And uh, to delete an object, it's this little button right here, delete. The other way we can add is if we know exactly where we want to put it, um, just mouse over down here at the border, click this, and you get that add object pop up, and you can just add it that way. So uh, we're going to make a pie chart so we can see what we've been selling a little bit more easy. So pie chart, our x-axis needs to be item and our y-axis needs to be units. Now, if we click out, we can see exactly what we've been selling more of a breakdown. Uh, not so much desks, but a lot of binders and a lot of pencils. So uh, we can make this uh, a little bit more descriptive. We'll just say orders, it's fine. Uh, now, this doesn't really help us a whole lot in this case. So we're just going to put a space down here. And when we click out and let it refresh, now it's hidden and 
our chart is a little bit cleaner. Now, word to the wise, when you are clicking out of this, um, you can inadvertently add something or um, click not exactly what you're um, anticipating. So just be careful when you click out um, what you're clicking. So uh, hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea of the power of dashboards. Now there are a couple other fields we can add. Um, summaries are pretty helpful. This just defaults to the total record count. Uh, let's go ahead and add a filter so we can see how many um, orders one of our sales reps is responsible for. So we come in here and we'll change this to, this is a filter, we want it to be our representative is equal to this guy. And we click out. And now we can see that our top salesman is responsible for four orders. So whatever he was selling, he must have been doing a pretty good job. Um, we'll come back in here and look at this a little bit more of a descriptive name. And let's go ahead and add another summary field or two. We'll do this for another sales representative. We'll do Jones. You can see he sold a little bit more, at least in terms of numbers. And we'll just say, and then finally, we'll just add another one so that we have a little bit more context. We'll just say total orders, which in this case is just uh, how many records we have on our table. So now we have a dashboard set up, uh, gives us a little bit of insight into the underlying data in a very easy to see and understand manner. Uh, we can further customize this dashboard, we can change the name. Um, we can change some stuff with the header. Um, if you turn off the lock, and then you can scroll away from the header. If you turn the lock on, it's floating all the time. Um, you can turn off that. Um, the name, you can add more text. Uh, you can add logos. You can change the background to be an image. Uh, whatever you want to do uh, to make it better for your company. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave it like this. Uh, there's also some more types of objects you can add. Uh, you can add just uh, pure text. Uh, this might be helpful if you need to provide more details on a chart, uh, break it down for your users, um, or something else along those lines. Uh, you can just add a plain image. Um, you can add other types of charts as well. Uh, we added a bar and a chart, but, or a bar and a pie, but there's also a line. Uh, you can do more. You can add filters. You can exclude stuff. You can include stuff. Um, it's quite flexible. Uh, and then, of course, the delete. You just click that. So hopefully this gave you a bit of an overview of Clara Studio dashboards. Um, if you are interested and want to learn more about how to add them to your system, uh, contact us at DB Services and we're happy to help.